To understand the backstop, you have to understand the current position and where it's going forward. This is the current position. The United Kingdom, Northern Ireland, the Irish Republic, one single market with goods and services flowing between them freely. The issue is after the UK leaves the EU, well, then it will be two countries in two different regulatory regimes. And by rights, there should be a hard border between Northern Ireland and the Republic. But they are against that. It's not in the Good Friday Agreement. And the fear is that if you go back to a hard border and on the island of Ireland, well, then there's a real risk of going back to violence. So there is a backstop that's designed to stop it. And the backstop says as follows. If they don't reach agreement in the next two years, if, then Northern Ireland becomes closely allied to the South in a customs union that includes the whole lot. But that, because these two will be more closely aligned, would create an artificial border between the Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And that, according to uh, British uh, politicians, is absolutely unacceptable. They will not go for it. And so the Northern Ireland question has become the intractable issue the backstop says if it's enforced, the North and the South will be aligned in a massive customs union. Can they renegotiate? European leaders say there's no going back to the negotiating table. Jean-Claude Juncker and Donald Tusk have remarkably consistent over the past months. Not open to negotiation. The only deal possible, the only way to ensure an orderly withdrawal and no room whatsoever for another deal.